Hey guys, this is Dia D, aka Dark Frozen Deaths, back with another Kamihimi Project video. This is going to be a bit of a um, pool video mixed with some other stuff because there's something that really came out of the pools. But, um, anyways, there's a few things I need to mention that's not in the news tab right now, but, um, they'll probably be in there later. But, first and foremost, um, uh, well, actually, the gift pack isn't too bad if you really need the books and all that, but it's. It's so it's okay, it's there. But um anyways, SSR guaranteed stuff has been is back in um gotcha. New characters, I've already done a little bit of that one, but um two things that weren't in the previous video. One, we have a um reduction on AP costs when it comes to um accessory quests, I think. It may or may not increase the runs at some point. I don't know for sure. But, um, if you're grinding for for accessories, there you go. Personally, I would recommend grinding for accessories when you're able to clear rank 4 or rank 5. But some people can do it sooner and possibly get some SSR stuff. Or even just stuff to be filler in general. Also, login bonus where you get, um, gotcha tickets, magic jewels. At the end of it, there's an SR guarantee ticket. Which is a Kamihime weapon one. But they give us a normal Kamihime weapon right here. So there you go. I will grab that and have that there for later. But um. Anyways. I tend to do this one a lot. This on free gacha. Because you know it gives us. The enhancement stuff for all this. There is no reason why nobody should do this anyways. Like, everybody should be doing this gotcha, so I'm just skipping through it real quick. That's all you really need to do, just click it a few times, and there you go. It's not too hard to get the gems in order to do it. You only need 10,000, basically. Now then, gotcha. I don't think they... They might have changed the daily selection. Let me see who's in the daily selection really quick. Okay, Shoutain, Leviathan, Tsukiyomi, Rudra, Neftis, Anubis, and that was Isis and Needhog. Those are all some very good ones. This is what I'm talking about here. So, they put a second batch to the uh, grab bag for the S-Quest Souls. The first one was to get stages 1 through 4. And if you got it early when they accidentally put the stage 5 materials in the news tab, then you get some extra stuff on top of it. This is to literally get stage 5, so, yeah, there's that. There's also the Kamihime weapon, and I don't want things, they've changed the banners. I'm doing them anyway just because, so that's why there's this many star, star coins on here. So, let's go through this one. But yeah, all of stage 5, enough said. I don't think this guarantees SSR, though. Yeah, it doesn't, it's a gold door. Last time I didn't do it on camera, but I did get a, um, I did get a duplicate of, um, somebody's weapon, I forgot whose. But we'll see if I get anybody. Nope, this isn't SSR guaranteed. But, the big thing is this. It is now giving me enough books in order to get Medea. This was not cheap, because getting almost 20,000 star coins to get both of them, not cheap. But, I pretty much skipped all the grind to get an S tier soul, so that's 1 out of 10 out the gate. Not to mention, you still gotta repeat step 5 to get all of their weapons, so that's still something that's gonna be grindy regardless of how far you are. But anyways, let's go into the unguaranteed stuff before I get into um, other pools because I'm going to throw those jewels at the um, at the gotcha. Okay, so this is one rainbow orb. Honestly, if I get a new Kamihime, that's fine. At the same time, there's some duplicate weapons I wouldn't mind getting. That's my main reason for doing this. Plus, the Dragonic eyes are still helpful regardless. Like, see, I got a Dragonic Eye. That's, um, Neftis' weapon, and I think I might be able to final break it. I don't know. We'll see in a second. But, um, 
Time for the Adolin one. I'm hoping I get Monog Armor, but I... I can't guarantee it will happen. So anyway, let's try it. I see one orb, two orbs. Two rainbow orbs. <sighs> Guys, you do not know how many times I've pulled her. <laughs> Oh my god, this I don't love me so much to the point where I even pulled her in the pre-register gacha before this game even launched. That is like the 12th time I've pulled her. And I got Thunderbird again. I probably would have been able to max her out if I kept all of her copies, but quite frankly... I don't, wouldn't need her on either Thunder or Light, so. Oh, well, more I don't want orbs, I guess. Okay, so, that was 30 pools. I have a Kamihime ticket, we'll just use it for the sake of it. Eh, useless. Now, I'm thinking about getting, let me see who's on here. Shaltain and Rovise, then I could use either one, really. But if I might have switched over. No, nah, that's probably both of them. No, wait, I think I have Shaltain. I could skip it. I don't have any of these ones, so let's go for this. Considering this a 10 draw with jewels, it's always going to be a gold door. Question is if any of these golds turn into rainbow. And who knows? Stranger things have happened. There's a chance I might still get something very, very good outside of this um rate up. See? So that was Artemis's gun. I just got another Dragonic Eye. Um Okay, not bad. I'm not complaining. More Dragonic Eyes. I really am curious on if I can um, final break Nethus' weapon because I kept it. Yeah, even though it says raid up, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get these guys. And then on top of that, too, the chances of them are still, you're kind of fighting that. Who knows, stranger things have happened. Although if I see a if I don't see a gold door, I'm skipping. And I legit lost track of how many pools I've done on this, but it's whatever. Oh! That's two. Whoa! Okay, this is a very good one, because, um, my original plan was to use that brick, that I do break limit item, from this current guild competition, because I can easily make the, um, I can easily make the top 500, but my objective was to simply use that to final, I mean, um, not final, max break limit her. But now I have another copy of her. That's very good. I can start working on another another one of her. Because her stats are incredible. Wow, that is a good pull. That was a good pull. I am not mad. So I'm going to be taking that copy and automatically shooting it up to level four, 40 or so. Not bad. That made up for the um, crappy Idolin pulls. That alone. So let me go to my equipment first. Because I also have to double check something too. I don't know if I have the weapon... Okay, yeah, it's unlocked, it's not equipped. There, that's a main factor. 
That said, what do you give when you final break? I know your Artemis is gun. It goes to Avalanche. See, the Assault is actually pretty good. Because it goes from medium to large. Avalanche, so-so. Because it's a double and a triple rate increase, and both are kind of small. That's the only time the combo rate increases are actually mean a lot, because they're usually not that big anyways, but it's passable. I wouldn't keep it. Switching to the dark weapons now. Yes, I can final break it. That said, what do I get when I final break? Strength and Stinger. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Because the only time I'm really going to use my dark team anyway is in, in stuff like, say, the future guild competitions, because... At one point, they're going to sip and reduce the damage you do if you're not using advantage element. And then tower, because there is a light tower down the land. So, that's going to be pretty helpful right there. Okay, I've got something that's able to final break. So, now let's go to Idolins. I have the option of final breaker right now. I mean, uh, Max Breaker right now, but I'm not going to. In fact, I may leave her as is. There's that, but I'm already going to be enhancing, plus 99ing. Sorry for the sad crap, guys. I'm just trying to do some things. And there you go. No, this is just to get right to her thing, so I can just lock. Because something that some of you may not know, I accidentally got rid of a, a Tish Spear because of the fact that I didn't lock it and I accidentally used it as fodder. Because I was clicking a little too fast, didn't realize it until it was too late, because I seen it on the screen that right when it was getting enhanced into the other stuff, and I kind of freaked out. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's why you go to this and make sure your stuff's locked, and unless you are using it. That said, though, enough of this sad stuff. Let's get to what we're really here to see, because I know all you are anticipating it on camera. I showed it on something else. I have the stuff to be able to do it. Hall of Research. So this is what you have to do for step 5. You have to make sure that's, that weapon is unequipped, and you have to make sure it is skill level 125. I mean, skill level 25 and level 125. When it's that far, you're able to pick it. I don't necessarily know what happens to this weapon entirely, because I know this copy of the weapon gets transformed to something else. But anyways, the moment everybody's been waiting for, here you go. Consume the items and gems, consume the soul weapon, okay to execute, yes. If it keeps my plus value, that's fine. If it doesn't, I'll just put it back on there. And here she is, one of the best damage dealing souls in the game. The other ones happen to be Hector and um, Yori. But there's others that can actually be kind of close, depending on how you use them. I know Charlemagne's pretty good for damage dealer. Caspar looks like she's got some potential, too. But, um, others just have some certain utilities, or they're just not that great overall. But they are still all stronger than their a rank counterparts. So there you go. But I got this sword now. I got her episode now. And if I want to do, do another weapon, I have to go through all these materials again. So that's what I'm going to do for the fire one. Hopefully it'll be in time for the next tower because it'll be a wind tower. But even if it's not not in time for the next tower, I still could get some use out of a fire weapon for her because there's another wind tower way later down the line. The devs, honestly, for some reason, did not give us a dark tower. So light is never going to have the advantage for a tower for a long time. And instead, they gave a second wind tower in one year. So that means it will be a third wind tower by then. So fire weapons will still be useful for um, for Medea and Solomon, whoever you have. 
But okay, that said, I have to go to equipment and see what this weapon, what happened to this weapon, because I'm curious myself. Of course, I have to relock it. But um. Okay, yeah. So it did keep the plus 99. That's good. But I gotta go through leveling it and the skill level again. And since it's final break it broken, I don't know if it's going to um. I don't know if it's going to um go to skill level 30 or not. I'm not going to have enough to send it all the way up. Not without sacrificing Dragonic Eyes, and I don't want to do that. That's not efficient. Something else is not really efficient either, is just chucking an um, SR weapon at it too. So I'm going to try and upgrade some of this stuff. It will show you some of the optimal ways of getting this. So, let's use this. This will take a full-on page of R weapons. I gotta make sure they're not plus values so they don't get wasted either because I gotta send those plus ones to somebody else. It takes a full page to optimize this. Now, for the SR fodder, I think it took six. But we'll see. I think it took six. If it's an SR grill, you're going to have to burn 10, I believe. Because that needs to be skill level 5. Along with the SSR. This is the optimal way to get your skill levels, guys. I'm showing it on camera. I've already done videos about it anyways, but I am showing it on camera. You do this to the fodder weapons, and then you throw the fodder weapons in. It has been calculated that this is the optimal way to do it. And it's by multiple fronts. Like, people on here have done it. People on the JP side have done it. It's optimal. But, um, it's also not necessary either, unless you really want to try and get the most out of your materials. Because you can always just chuck whatever in there as long as you're not really using something you shouldn't. And I put one too many. I wasn't paying attention. But that's fine. It's only one R weapon that really got wasted. But again, optimal is six. So there's that. Now I have to avoid these plus ones. Because again, I'm using them on um, other weapons. Now, I could take this a step further and do that with the R Grails. But, um, I want to get rid of those plus value weapons right now because that will, um, get that out the way. Oh, I got more than enough for this. So, let's see here. That's 89. Oh, no, I have exactly enough. This should be the 99 that I was waiting on. Now all I need to do is just get more bricks for it. So... R weapons... And it was the grails. I really could throw them as is, but... It's fine. I forgot exactly how many weapons will do. I think it might be two. In order to max it out to the four. Oh no, it's three. It takes three for this one. It's not really maxed out, but you get what I mean. So this takes three in order to optimize it. And this will really make the most out of your stuff.
So it's probably a good thing I did that gym pool anyways, because it gave me some more stuff to work with, so I can show that on camera. But the main reason I'm also showing this too, is not just the soul weapons from um, S rank souls. You're going to want to do this with the um, with the guardian weapons too. Because believe me when I say this, that this weapon here, getting that to skill level 20 was a chore. A major chore. And quite frankly, I think I can final break it. I mean, um, I keep saying final. Max break it. There's a difference. So, now that I'm doing this, I can throw whatever at this and just look at how much more skill experience I get just off of that. That's a lot. That's just from optimizations. That's why you do that, because it would have been a, a lot less if you um, did it differently. That was enough to shoot it up to 14 in one go. But now I can do the quickie enhance. But yeah, I'm going to be spending some time with this one here. So I'm out of enhanced materials. I personally auto sell the R1, so, so keep that in mind. I personally just auto sell those. And then I also wanted to have this recorded too because I previously mentioned in a video that there are some players that just grinded out stuff through scripting or whatever too. This is clear cut proof that I bought this. Like literally bought this. Because I bought the previous one as well and that's how I got some extra stuff as well. Even led to a lot of excess fodder to where I got all the Guardian other ones as well. But I've gotten amazing progress on this. I just have no clue how high this goes. I don't know if this is skill level 30 or skill level 20. It is a final break. I just don't know how far it's going to go. But anyways, that's all for that. I would love to show Medea's opening scene and all that, but I don't know what Fulio's on in it, so I'd rather not, because this is like a live recording, I don't edit this or anything, so I don't want to do anything like that. But, um, another reason why I was gunning for Medea so much, I have a Glaive Grid. I basically have a Glaive Grid. I can still even toss this in there too if I want. It will sacrifice the staff. But, um, I have a Glaive Grid. So, yeah, that's a thing. But, um, anyways, that's all for this. More of this will definitely come soon, because, like I said, I now have Medea. I haven't even done the event yet, and she's going to make this event trivial. I already did so much damage with Solomon. And I now have a more powerful Solomon. A far more powerful Solomon. So that said, this event is going to be a cakewalk. I have to now redo my Dark Skill Coon video because of this stuff. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I can get more damage out of Medea than um, Shingen at this point. But, um... Anyways, that's all for this, guys. More of this is definitely going to come soon. But, hey... If you do have the money for it, my suggestion, definitely get the grab bag. Because this is definitely the harder part of the stages, if anything. Even if you didn't get the first grab bag, get the second one. It is well worth the money. It's not cheap, but it is well worth it. But anyways, that's all for this, guys. More of this will come soon, and take care.